Alright, what's up? We are back for another review and uh, for today we're going to be checking out another Moondrop and this is the Mocha. So, uh, I believe this is a Bluetooth earphone. And look at the color scheme that they're using. This is a very z color scheme and very small box here actually. And uh, you can see the even the color of my keyboard and the color of my <laughs> uh, monitors. Um, it kind of fits the bill has some similarities but uh, i did unbox on um, some moondrop on tws's before and i did like the sound quality of course we're uh, always looking for um that moondrop sound um in our tws's but uh, yeah this is one of the smaller actually uh, tws boxes that we have seen yet i'm not sure yet of the the price of this um that is what we are including in the channel now so i'm gonna guess it later <laughs> after doing uh, my impressions um so hopefully i get it get it right <laughs> but that uh, opening this up this is what you're getting there you go Ooh, very interesting here this is what i like about moondrop they always maybe experiment in the look this does remind me of a nintendo kind of vibe here definitely looks really cool here for me uh, maybe reminds me of the the nest uh, type of color a uh, very retro maybe even game boy type of color really cool here for me so i i like the the way you know moondrop does this stuff you know it is really uh quite unique in their you know approach but uh, let's check out what you're getting in the box first so um here you are getting some usb c uh to usb a and there's some tips as well so um not much in the box actually not uh there's no case uh, like for example the, the one that we unboxed before has a case so this is a little bit more maybe minimalist in the vibe but uh, this is uh, the case that you're getting really cool definitely one of the un more, more unique uh, maybe one of the most unique looking <laughs> um, TWS is around so I'm um, moving uh, to walk through of the the whole device um, so at the underside you're getting that USB-C um, you're getting your pairing button uh, and I like that the, the pairing button is pop color orange. <laughs> Definitely looks nice. Um, you seem to be getting a wireless charging uh, in, in, indicator at the back. So this might have wireless charging. Um, not sure. Maybe one of the first that I've seen from Moondrop that has that. Really cool on that. But uh, yeah, um, in front, uh, quite clean presentation. Plastic as well. Uh, matte plastic here. And uh, feels a little bit more, maybe uh, a touch more solid compared to the previous. There you go. That is your um, TWS. So actually, this kind of looks like the Neko cakes in terms of the how it looks like now we uh, that that we are inside. So weight here uh, for me is uh, much like the Neko cakes as well. So um, this might be their uh, maybe reference uh, in terms of the the design here overall. So um, you're getting that blocky design, still getting that. Um, maybe airpods type of uh, fins at the side and uh, this is a bit lengthy as well so this is your maybe old school um, airpods um, length not the airpods pro length and uh, of course you are getting that maybe fitting of the, the airpods very airpods um, fitting so i'm kind of assuming that, that this will be uh, really similar to the, the airpods in terms of the the vibe um, to the ear and that I don't have an issue with that. Um, you know, the AirPods fit a lot of uh, people's ears without any issues. But uh, here uh, on top, in terms of the build quality, you're getting uh, covered on top here. So that's uh, one of uh, the ways that, uh, you know, the, the top when you open and close it feels a bit more premium. And actually when you open it, um, I just notice it now. So it kind of uh, has a, maybe a hinge mechanism here, if you guys can see. So um, if you open it, um, this won't move. So that might be an advantage for some people, especially if you are somebody who opens it and then just puts it uh, on your desk just for display. So this won't move at all. So that might be an advantage. I'm just not sure of the maybe durability of this in the long run. So it's just something that's left to be seen. But uh, yeah, after putting it in, you're getting this. Uh, light as well uh, on in front. So um, let's uh, try to put it on the ear. So um, just to show you guys what it looks like. But I'm assuming that uh, this will be um, quite easy to wear because of that maybe AirPods S design. Uh, it says to, to do <laughs> in my ear. So that's the first thing that I heard. But uh, this is uh, how it looks like. Gray. I love the gray uh, shade here. You know, similar to um, Electro Voice color. 
has that retro vibes old school vibes but uh, this is what it looks like and yeah fitting to the ear very similar to the airpods pro um quite comfortable to wear actually and uh not that uh, maybe deep in the insertion so um very similar to the airpods pro type of insertion so it can be quite comfortable um without the anc it's not that maybe noise isolating so uh again still something um that uh, you need to turn on the anc if you like some some uh, anc for sure and now we are connected and of course we're gonna have our first listen right so we are now connected to our iphone and uh, we are gonna listen to some tunes we're listening to some beat it by michael jackson first impressions very moon drop tws type of sound quite controlled bass quite tight bass nice separation um for a dynamic driver in the cleaner side of things in presentation and very nice um vocal presentation as well so the, the presentation is quite balanced for me very moon drop type of sound actually in the i am i am world maybe it reminds me more of the chew something of this presentation but maybe a little bit more smoother chew definitely more of an enthusiast type of sound here uh let's try some bass tracks some 24k magic by bruno mars going to the bass um it has enough impact for me but uh i would say this more in the tighter side of presentation it's not an overly you know fun type of bass it's a bit more controlled quite quite fast as well in presentation but that is still not a reference pair for me so this is still a bit more fun than the chew so actually maybe in the im world maybe more of uh, maybe sal notes vibe here for me it's a little bit more maybe impactful bass than the chew but still no mid bass bleed for me very controlled bass uh, if not just the sub bass um, i do have an issue maybe um it's not that deep and not that rumbly so this is not your in your face type of bass uh, this is a bit more enthusiast type of bass in that regard very moon drop type of bass here for me but definitely not lacking in the bass department there's ample bass here to throw around but uh, this definitely not a uh, you know a bass heads type of pair let's try some let's groove by earth wind and fire going to the mids um i love how nice the separation of the mids are and the positioning for me um quite nicely presented for me in the mix um it's not uh that recessed for me in the presentation Maybe just a little bit but not that much definitely more of an enthusiast you know type of tuning here for me so uh, the, the vocals uh the presentation is quite clean for me separation is really nice and uh maybe a little bit more maybe crisp um presentation here for me no shouting is for me inside it's quite tame it's not your super aggressive type of presentation but uh, definitely quite revealing, quite open of a presentation. Just no shouting is from inside, quite tame. So yeah, more in the clean side, more in the open uh, type of presentation. But definitely more, uh, definitely uh, more aggressive co uh, for me compared to the choose. Let's try some uh, female vocals. Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. For female vocals, uh, the positioning for me is a bit nicer compared to the male vocals, and the presentation as well. Um, it's a bit more maybe revealing for me of a presentation. But uh, still in the cleaner side of, of things for me. So if not, um, just maybe one issue for me here is uh, maybe the body. So while it's in the cleaner side of things, maybe I'm looking for still a bit more body in the sound here. Um, so maybe some, some instruments is lacking a bit more. Um, yeah, maybe body, uh, maybe a bit more thickness for me in the presentation. So maybe that's just one downside for me. Um, let's try some top end. Uh, maybe some guitar tracks. Maybe some Aerotomania by Dream Theater. Going to the top end, um, moving to some detail. So um, not much detail here. So yeah, this is not a micro detail monster. There's a little bit, but uh, it's just a bite of detail. So the guitars have ample uh, maybe extension for me. You're getting the 12K. But again, much like the mids here, I'm looking for a bit more thickness for me in the, the guitars. It can be thin for me to listen to. Maybe some green tinted um, 60s mind by Mr. Big. But I still love the cleanliness of the sound here. Separation really nice. Especially for a dynamic driver presentation. And here in green um, tinted 60s mind. Again, micro details just okay. Yeah, here for me the symbols has a bit more thinness for me than what I'd like. But I definitely ample, uh, maybe treble, ample extension for me in the treble. So that's definitely an advantage. Um, 
going to um, soundstage um, average stage share for me not super big separation really good here especially for dynamic driver separation quite nice here for me micro detail just okay and again uh, tonally I, I would say this is a, a touch in the colder side of things uh, a bit more uh, maybe enthusiast type of sound uh, again neater to the chew in a way so um yeah that's definitely uh, quite a unique sound here for me so that's my listen with the uh, mochas or what are my overall thoughts in it so i do think this is a unique um tws uh, so the sound here reminds me of a cross between maybe the sal notes uh, zero to the moon drop chew something to this effect um it has that um you know quite controlled sound in the whole spectrum quite clean um type of sound for dynamic driver and the, the the bass uh quite tight as well top end has nice extension and uh maybe quite um light in the weight uh, overall in the whole spectrum so that's definitely a unique uh, kind of thing it has its own vibe going for it which is definitely something that i do like personally and of course that look it definitely can pair with my electro voice actually so that's definitely nice so um first um let's take a look at the price here for me so <laughs> I would have to guess uh, maybe around forty to fifty dollars here for the Moontrap Mocas, um, because of the the overall package and stuff like that. So let's see if I am correct. It's forty two. I pretty much got it. So yeah, it sounds uh, around that. Uh, maybe something like the Neko Cakes actually. So yeah, for for Moontrap, maybe the Neko Cakes uh, kind of reminds me of this. Even the note weight um, has Neko Cakes vibe to it. So. $42, not bad. So I'm quite close with my uh, guess here. So yeah, for me personally, for $42, I do think um, this is, since it's a unique um, TWS, there's uh, some people who's going to like um, the overall lesson here, especially those who's looking for maybe a more balanced presentation, a more, more uh, maybe toned down, more enthusiast type presentation. You'll definitely um, like the lesson here. Uh, but yeah, that is my look with uh, Mochas. Um, what do you think of it? Um, do you like the look <laughs> uh do you prefer this you know type of um look overall so actually some people uh, i can see that uh especially for those who's looking for a more, more vintage look more vintage vibe um you might like this especially maybe for those game boy uh, enthusiasts as well um you know just the look alone will attract you to this and uh, will be a unique setting for it i think for some people uh, this is a sure buy already um with, with the look alone so yeah the sound is definitely good enough so um you know for some people uh, who have seen this and the looks is really nice um you might you know buy this outright so that's really cool on that but uh yeah definitely like how you know moondrop is playing around with their look um you still know that it's a moondrop thing you know um that's that's what's very surprising about moon traps they're playing around with different maybe types of designs uh, but but uh, when you look at them and you feel them in the hand um, they still feel like moon traps so really good uh, on moon trap on that but uh, that's my look with the uh, moon trap moon because of course um if you learn something leave a like you can subscribe my content like this in the future of course um thanks for shans and audio for sending this over um if you want to get one use my links in the description below if you use the link um, it will help out the channel a lot thanks for watching and uh, see you guys in the next video Bye.